Comparing ClickHouse to Postgres is like comparing grapes to grapefruit. It's a bit ridiculous. ClickHouse was created for a specific purpose, and Postgres was designed to be flexible and all-purpose. So why even compare them? Because most companies that use an online analytical processing database like ClickHouse originally used an online transaction processing database like Postgres and decided to switch. This video will help you understand if that switch is also right for you. At PostHog, this is exactly our journey. We originally used Postgres to store data, but as usage grew rapidly, it couldn't handle the scale. Eventually, we migrated to ClickHouse and solved many of the scaling problems. To start, let's compare the database types. OLTP, which Postgres is, is a rows-based database. It stores data and objects as rows, like a phone book. ClickHouse is a OLAP, which is a column-based database. It ingests data as columns, meaning there is a large number of them. The big difference is how each stores data. You can continue to use SQL to interface with either of them, but query performance differs significantly. For example, ClickHouse is amazing at aggregates. This is great for products such as analytics, finance, ad bidding, content delivery, and log management, which have lots of data that doesn't change often. On the other hand, ClickHouse is terrible at mutations or modifying existing data. Because of this, ClickHouse is rarely used alone. It's often used with Postgres or other rows-based relational databases, which handle the non-specialized bits of the product. To make this comparison clearer, let's go over some simple cases where Postgres is the obvious choice, then some where ClickHouse is the obvious choice. A situation where Postgres wins over ClickHouse is if you run a career-based social network and you want to update the employer for Dennis. Postgres accesses Dennis's row, alters the employer value, and then writes the new value. ClickHouse needs to load every employer, go to Dennis's index, alter it, and write the entire column back into data. A simple case where ClickHouse crushes Postgres is at that same career-based social network, calculating the average age of all your users rapidly. Postgres needs to incrementally retrieve every entry, grab the age, add it to the total, average across the count, and return the value while ClickHouse calculates this all in a single read by getting the values in the age column together. Both these are crude comparisons. They ignore caching and under the hood optimizations like parallelizing requests and utilizing specialized merge tree engines, but they give you an idea of what each is good at. ClickHouse's optimizations are made possible by their insert now and optimize later philosophy. It is constantly merging data in the background to collapse series data into single values to expedite future queries. Because it doesn't expect mutations, aggregate values won't need to be recalculated. Because ClickHouse is an opinionated solution, comparisons often go like this. ClickHouse does X really well, but Postgres can achieve X with Y and Z modifications and A and B setbacks. It's like comparing a MacBook with a music synthesizer. You can make decent music on your Mac, but you can't run Excel on your synthesizer. Now let's dive into some big differences between the two. One, ClickHouse scales better than Postgres. When evaluating infrastructure resources, we typically think about CPUs, RAM, and storage. For Postgres, RAM and storage matter, but CPU has limited benefit. This is because Postgres is primarily a single process product. Meanwhile, ClickHouse is optimizing data in parallel. You can scale the power of your ClickHouse instant by improving any of the dimensions, including CPU. Two, ClickHouse's not so secret weapon is materialized views. They are saved SQL queries that re-execute at runtime to expose an ephemeral table to query from. It is a derived independent table generated at a specific point in time. For example, going back to our career social network, we could have a materialized view for the average age in the industry. Although both Postgres and ClickHouse have the functionality to build materialized views, the difference is that Postgres needs to be manually updated 
ClickHouse auto updates thanks to its insert now and optimize later philosophy. This enables it to compress data in a materialized view in its idle time. The third big difference is how each treats engines. Postgres technically only operates using a single engine while a new one designed to optimize the update function is being built. For ClickHouse, engines are a core feature. You should instruct ClickHouse to utilize a special engine depending on your needs, and that engine could dramatically optimize results. These engines include aggregating merge tree, summing merge tree, materialize view, merge dictionary, and more. Each is used ephemerally to move, merge, and export data. The fourth difference is Postgres's sharding problem. This has been a big constraint for a long time. Even now, its most used sharding solution, declarative table partitioning, isn't exactly sharding as splitting operates at a table by table level. Proper sharding requires a foreign data wrapper, but this adds considerable overhead for lackluster reward. As an example, Notion took months to implement robust sharding for Postgres. ClickHouse's approach is more fleshed out. Upon sharding, ClickHouse utilizes an umbrella table, knowing the location of shards and replicas to do a federated query across an entire data set. This uses Apache Zookeeper to manage the shards. ClickHouse can shard prematurely, and each shard can parallelize queries to expedite results. In summary, ClickHouse is made to handle lots of aggregate data, while Postgres is more flexible, but doesn't keep up at high volumes. ClickHouse optimizes data at every layer, from inception to storage to caching to return. This enables it to boast about 1000x improvements over Postgres. However, ClickHouse is rarely used in isolation. For day-to-day -day app needs like updating or reading single lines, databases like Postgres still have a critical role. That's all for this video on ClickHouse versus Postgres. If you have any thoughts or questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this and check out posthog.com slash blog for the written version of this video and more. Thanks for watching.